Hey there. I am Sean James, Master Gardener and graduate of the Niagara Park School of Horticulture. And we are up here at the University of Guelph Arboretum. And I'm very excited because for the upcoming conference, we are building some rain gardens. And what we're going to do today is talk about how to do an infiltration test so that we know how much water we'll soak in over what period of time. And that will tell us how deep we can make the rain garden. So what are we going to need? anything that's got a hard edge on top and a hard edge on the bottom. So in this case, we're going to use a pretty rigid pot with the bottom cut out. You can use a, a big soup can, anything like that. We got this mini mattock, which is a cool little tool for firefighters, believe it or not. Uh, a very subtle ruler, but it's easy to read. And a jug of water. Uh, and that's going to be pretty straightforward. And uh, we're going to strip away the surface and put our pot in there and uh, actually we also need a little flat rock we don't need it but if you have something to put in the bottom of the hole so that your ruler always goes in the same place that helps as well so we're gonna strip away the grass on the surface we're gonna try and save that so we can put it back after we're gonna try not to hit ourselves in the forehead it can happen and then we're just going to loosen this up a little bit because we want, and then we're going to flatten it out because we want to be able to push this into the ground to make a seal. Or, or, or. No, not that kind, the other kind. There we go. And then we're going to put our little rock in the bottom, thusly, so that when we fill it up with water, we can measure from a regular spot. And now we're gonna fill it up with water and we're gonna let it drain away. And that will saturate this soil. Um, because we don't wanna be testing just how dry this soil is and how much water it'll soak up. We're trying to test the actual infiltration. So it'll take a couple of minutes to drain away and then we'll fill it up again and measure it. Just trying to make a better seal on the bottom here by putting a bit of mud around the outside edge. It's pretty good, but it's not as good as I would like. That and I just wasn't getting dirty enough. So we've let the water soak for quite a bit from our first soaking, but uh, it stopped going down, or at least it's going down really, really slowly. And I see no reason to wait. That tells us that the soil is saturated below. So we're gonna fill this guy up and we're gonna measure it. And then we'll come back in an hour and measure it again. I'm measuring it in millimeters because it's easier to, to measure. And you can see that we are at 21.3 millimeters. So we're going to write that down so that we can do the math later. See you in a bit. So it's been an hour and we're back to measure. And we've got our little rock in there and it's 23 bang on it was 21.3 before so that's 1.7 centimeters so if we multiply that times uh, 24 and then convert it to inches um, that's 16 inches in 24 hours I'm not that smart I did it ahead of time when we weren't on film um, which means that we can make this garden quite deep. That's decent infiltration. Now you don't want to make a garden more than two feet deep, a rain garden, because then it becomes a safety hazard. Some kid could fall in it and drown. Um, but it means that we can make it a foot deep easily and then capture a whole bunch of water. So 16 inches is an easy depth to make it, but that's probably deeper than we want to. So we're going to pull that back to 
um, pull that back to about a foot deep.